So I'm here in this beautiful Victorian masterpiece, or it will be it uh, when it's finished. Yeah. Look at Bill, uh, Bill Patel from I Occupy. We're just going to focus on a couple of things. Yeah. One is challenges, and the other one is sourcing. And then just to summarise, why this was a good deal, yeah. and what what you look for in a good deal as well. Yeah. So in terms of sourcing, was it just through an estate agent? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, we've nurtured estate agent relationships from day one, so you know, and we still do now. Um, we enjoy going out for a beer with them, is one of the perks of doing it, and uh, keeping in touch with them and just really making a friendship as well. So it's just nurturing that relationship and do what you can to keep keep that going, and and uh, that's how we find the majority of our deals. So going into a little bit more depth, because it's a listed property. Yeah. So that's one of the challenges. Obviously, that would put some people off. Yeah. It doesn't put you off, though. No, we haven't. Uh, we think we bought the property for a good price and the numbers work for us. So, yes, any changes we make, and we have got a few changes. We're going up into the loft here, so we'll be going up one floor with a dormer at the back. Um, so that is obviously planning risk, because we have to go to planning. Uh, down on the ground floor, we've got office space, which isn't um, permitted development because of the listing status, so everything has to go through planning. Um, but we've done a lot of diligence on our options and believe that we can make this uh, deal really work and the numbers work really well for us as well. So let, let's just focus on the numbers. And just before we go into the numbers, uh, one of the challenges is always finance as well. Yes, absolutely, Brendan. I mean, there's so many options these days. You've got crowdfunding, you've got traditional bank methods and private finance. Now we've not used crowdfunding as yet, um, and my initial thoughts are it's quite expensive, but it has its purposes and, and you know, there's different reasons why you may use crowdfunding. Um, we use a lot of traditional banking and development banking. We've used Lloyds quite a lot, we've banked with them, um, and a couple of other private banks to do uh, some development finance in the past. Um, and private investors, which is one of the keys to our business. We use a lot of private investment and uh, work with investors um, to give them great returns so everyone wins on, on the deal. So we've looked at uh, what, what makes it a good deal as well. Well, definitely the numbers on this one. So we we purchased the property at 850,000. We're looking at 350 grand development at the moment to do what we're doing. Um, and that will, our NGDV, we're looking at just under 2 million. So the numbers work really well for us. So we've looked at the numbers, we've looked at some of the challenges. Now we're going to go into a lot more detail on yeah. Saturday, the property summit. So the property summit is focused on development, it's focused on the funding, it's focused on the project management, it's focused on the sourcing. Look, it's an amazing amount of people, one, who are coming along to the event, over 90 already registered for the event. Two, look, there's about 17 different property specialists. I'm, I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. Because <laughs> um, I, I was speaking to a, a well-known event organizer this morning, he said, is it a two-day summit? And to be fair, it should really be a two-day summit. So there's going to be very, very little fluff. I have to be very, very tight in terms of timing. We start off with a keynote presentation from Am Camp, and then we move on to the panels. And I'm delighted we've got Richard Bowser, who's going to be chairing a panel focused on how to scale your development business. We've also got Augusta Oyenki Ulumia, who will be chairing the panel on how to structure um, your deals. And also we've got presentations on PropTech with Land Insight. Uh, we've got uh, planners doing a presentation, AZ Urban Studio based in London. We've also got Granite Architects who are noted for working on Jamie Oliver's commercial property, one of his bakeries. So look, I can kind of rattle on, I don't want to. Uh, do book early because the earlier you book, the less you pay. So as I say, that's this coming Saturday, Crown Plaza, Black Fries, it's very, very easy to get to. The venue is literally about 10 seconds walk from the tube station. So um, that's it, thank yeah. you and thank you. Thanks, Brendan.